Showcasing your agent's listings is a crucial part of any real estate business. This is why the Agent Listings IDX add-on is an important app for you to learn about. What you can do with this app is showcase featured supplemental or sold pending listings of any of your agents. I'm going to be using Horsley Real Estate as an example. They're using the Agent Listings add-on to showcase properties inside each of these agents pages. So for example, if you click on Katie Horsley Do, who is the principal broker of Horsley Realty, you can see their active listings and then if you keep on scrolling, you see the sold listings. Horsley Real Estate sells properties in the Northern Neck and Middle Peninsula of Virginia. Going back to the agents, we can see here another example. This agent is called Bernadette. They have their active listings and sold listings. The only thing you need to build out this widget is an IDX broker account and then use the agent listings to create the widget. So I'm going to be showing you an example for Bernadette. I'm going to choose the agent from the drop-down list. In this case, I'm not going to select a fallback. A fallback means properties that would show up if this agent doesn't have any properties. And for now, I'm going to preview the widget before showing you more options. And here we have only properties um, that are active and that are managed by Bernadette. You can select how many listings you want to show. So if you want to show more, you modify this to show nine. If there are less, it would show less, but nine would be the maximum. Let's keep this at six. And then in the style section, this agent already has a primary theme, which is called flagship, but you can choose another theme for the widgets. You can choose ocean as an example. And here's another look of the widget. These are all colors that you can change. Over here, you can change the widget background, the featured text color. If you have a carousel widget here, you can modify the carousel arrows, backgrounds, and text. Here is another example of how the widget can look. This is called IDXN. We're going to be going back to their primary theme, which is flagship. For now, we recommend leaving the font settings as they are. Um, they might change for some of the themes and we're working on being able to modify them for the rest. In the advanced tab, you can add in custom CSS or custom JavaScript if you know about coding. And here, if you remember, we were using Bernadette and Featured. This is the widget that we were building out. But we can also go for showing the sold or pending properties. And the maximum value is one year. We can add in 364 to see the properties this agent has sold in this time period. And here we have them. These are the ones being shown over here as well. Now, what happens if we have an agent like Anne that doesn't currently have any active listings? The best option would be to search for Anne over here and add in a fallback. In this case, this company has some fallback saved links which are created in design, website, and saved link. And I haven't gone into them, but they are probably properties in these areas. So Lancaster, Essex, Matthews, Middlesex, Richmond. If we don't add any fallback for Ann Keller and preview the widget, we would see no properties showing up, but we can add in a fallback and imagine that Ann works in the Matthews area. This is just an example, I have no idea. You can add in this save link or create a new one over here with specific properties you want to show for Anne and then preview the widget again to see how we have properties showing up now. So you can add in this code over here and when there are active listings, the active listings would be showing. When there aren't, we have a fallback so that people are looking at properties always. So you can have no properties found for active listings, but then add in a message that says, but check out these properties in the same area or something similar to that. All you have to do is copy this code and add it in onto the site where you want to show it. This can also be used on the Excellent Agent app. For example, this site, the Home Team DMV is using Excellent Agents. And if you click on an agent, for example, this one, it takes you to a page where people can search for Brenda's listings and this agent doesn't have active listings currently, then it shows featured listings and this is a fallback. The Excellent Agents app, once it's set up, has an option called fallback where you would paste that code. To get access to this app and many more, become a Realty Candy client at realtycandy.com free.
Click on any of these mail providers to switch over to us. Don't worry, you keep your IDX broker accounts, but you get us for support, apps, templates, and more.